Okay, we're ready to get started. We have here is a 2003 Crown Victoria, but uh, there's quite a few years up to 2004. I think all have the same uh, rear brakes. We'll uh, take a look at the tools we got here. We got a. We need to have a tire or some way to to lift it up. A, a huge floor jack is always the best way to go. Lots safer than uh, than, than something lesser. Uh, 13 16 inch lug wrench. Big screwdriver. A C clamp. That's a, a five inch C clamp pitcher, but I think uh, perhaps a smaller one. I'd probably get by with maybe four inch, three inch, perhaps. Ten millimeter socket and some new replacement brake pads. I've got uh, the Wagner Quick Stops here, and I got them because they said that they were ceramic and they were cheap. And they seem to have come with the, the hardware. They look like pretty nice uh, looking, uh, looking uh, pads here. Comes with some uh, lube and some stainless steel rails. And uh, anyway, uh, uh, one, one thing to re note on these things is uh, there is a left side and a right side, so make sure you inspect really carefully to make sure that you get the left side and the right side uh, w when you go to put these things on. So uh, kind of like mirror images. First thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, pop the hubcap with the big screwdriver and then crack the lug nuts while it's on the ground. I cracked the lug nuts while it's still on the ground, and boy, it's a good thing I did. These things are really on there tight. So now I'm ready to uh, find a, 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 a structural frame element and put the, the jack stand underneath there and then uh, jack it up. So I, I, so you can see there's a large frame member right here that attaches to this uh, trailing arm. And uh, I jacked right underneath there. Uh, it's always good to make sure that you're not like jacking underneath the floor pan. pan. Okay, now, now that I got, I got the wheel off, the first thing we want to do is kind of inspect uh, to make sure these rotors look good. <clears throat> you know, the reason I'm doing this brake job is I've got about 190,000 miles on this car. And uh, I figured, well, it's got to be about time to replace the brakes. But uh, you can see the rotors are beautiful. They're nice and flat. There's a... Uh, Really, uh, they're shiny where the, the friction element's been on there, but they're actually at the same level as uh, their, the non-swept area. So there's no lip here. Uh, they're not worn at all, so I don't have to worry about the rotors. And uh, spoiler alert, I did the other side, and, and I'm looking at these pads. And you can see the old pads and the new pads. Let's see, let's, hopefully, you can get this on, hopefully you can get this on camera. I wasn't holding from the camera. But uh, yeah, the old pads, new pads, uh, there's only about maybe an eighth of an inch. Gosh, not even really an eighth of an inch. God, boy, these things, it's not even an eighth of an inch. I mean, uh, okay, this is uh, after 190,000 miles. And uh, yeah, so it looks like uh, these things might be good for about 500,000 miles. So maybe I, I replace them a little bit early, but you know, what the heck, uh, brake pads are cheap. Uh, you can kind of see these old ones are kind of semi-metallics, and semi-metallics are really good brake pads uh, in many ways, but uh, they do leave dust and what have you. And these new uh, brake pads I have here are, are ceramics, and the ceramics are supposed to maybe be a little quieter and, uh, 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 you know, don't leave as much brake dust. And, and the main thing to remember is, like I say, these things are keyed left and right, kind of hold up, you can kind of see, well, the little metal clip is on the right on the top side and uh, so that means I got the right one for this side so that's the main thing you want to remember is you get the right right hardware for the right side of the car okay now I got my 10 millimeter socket wrench and uh, you can see this little bolt right here it's a nice little bolt we just it's not on very tight nice and easy and down here there's another matching one. Oh yeah nice and easy and these are the bolts that hold the, the caliper to the caliper frame. And we'll, we'll take those out. Okay, the two bolts are out. And now we've got this spring clip right here that's holding the, the calipers in there. And you can see how it pushes down. Okay, push it down. And this thing just... See, I don't have it down. Wait, oops. The other side, it popped right out really easy. Okay, there it goes. And we set it down very carefully up here and we don't let it dangle by the brake ho hose. 
some people take like a piece of coat hanger wire to hang these things by. I'm just going to be working on this thing really easily, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. But uh, yeah, but don't let it let it dangle. And uh, like I say, uh, it just comes. Everything comes out really easy. You don't want to force anything. So the next thing we have to do is take this thing out of here. Now, I don't know if you see it here. Let me kind of point here. You can see how there's a little nub right here, a little nub right here. Let me take like a like the new one. See, there's like a, a nub right there, and a nub right there. That locks into this little hole, locks in this little hole. So the secret to getting these things out is you got to pry the pad back to where the nub is not in the hole anymore, and then it'll, it'll slide out. So that's the secret to getting these things out there. They kind of got little locking uh, nubs. Okay, before I take out the, the outboard ones, I mean, I'm just going to grab the inboard, pull it, and get on out of here just to get out of the way. Okay, I pried from the top, and I got the nub back, pushed it up, pried from the top, got the nub out, pushed it up, and now, now this thing just comes right out. Uh, you don't really have to go crazy forcing anything on, on, the, on, on this thing here. It's like a, a jigsaw puzzle. You just got to be really careful. So now, I'm going to take uh, a C-clamp, I'm going to push the piston in uh, to where it's fully in. And here you can see the, the piston is fully retracted. Be very careful when you place the clamp here that you don't place it over any of these rubber seals and damage the rubber seals. You know, you, you don't want to go nuts on this. Another thing to remember is these little uh, bolt things. Uh, when you go to put it back, the caliper back in there, these got to be tracted back or else they'll, they'll hit. And, uh, and if you have them back, this thing will just pop right on there very easily. Uh, no forcing. Now this is the one area where there's a little bit of forcing. You got to get to... Uh, oops. Got to get these uh, three rubber or these three uh, steel spring clips into the inside of the caliper. Oops. Now uh, you try not to get your fingers over the friction material. You don't want to get any grease on the friction material. But uh, you carefully line these things in here. Okay. Now, now they're kind of in there. Oh, there it goes. Okay. That that one's in. So uh, that's how it's done. Let's see if I can pop this thing in on camera without looking like a, an idiot here. Okay, there it goes. That one snapped in. Oh, that one snapped in. Okay, you hear the snap, you know they're in. Okay, uh, the new kit... I didn't open these things up yet. I, I didn't bother putting them in on the other side because uh, the, the old ones were in such good shape. But uh, basically, these are guides that snap on to this uh, cast iron frame. And uh, I'm just going to clean up my old ones really nicely. Uh, just clean up really nice, you know, wipe off all the dirt, maybe take a little solvent, clean them up so that there's uh, nothing uh, in, uh, stopping them from sliding here. Or you could pop in the new ones. There's nothing wrong with that. These old ones seem to work for 190,000 miles pretty well. And I'm gonna, just going to clean them up. And then I got the, the brake lube. Now the brake lube, what, you don't put the brake lube on the, the brake pads, you know. I mean, that's what, you don't want put them on the friction material, you ruin them. But the, the brake lube goes right here and right here uh, in two places here, two places here where the brake pads touch. So I'll just put a little bit of this stuff along here, a little bit of this stuff along here because the brake pads have to slide in and out. Every time you brake, this is what they call the, the floating caliper design. There's only one piston on the, on the inboard. And when that piston pulls, you, you expect the equal and opposite force on the outside piston. It's got to slide for that to happen. So, uh, uh, you know, they, they've got these little bolt things that slide back and forth, but the, the, the actual force is transferred through this uh, rail, and it, it has to slide along that rail. So, uh, you know, like I say, you put a little grease there, a little grease there, and then put a little grease right on the edge here, a little bit of grease on the edge here, do the same thing over here, a little grease on the edge here, a little grease on the edge here, and then uh, you're all set. Okay, I got everything lubed up, and now it's time to just snap on there. I mean, this is just such an easy job. Remember I told you about these slides. You've got to pull the slides out, pull the slides out. Hook it on the bottom. Okay, now i got to get the slide out. Okay, now that one went in. Now i got the, the slide. Okay, that one went... Oh, that was just too easy. It just slid in, and then this locking clip locks it in. And now we... Uh, time to replace our two 10-millimeter uh, uh, bolts. And got nice and easy. Get it nice and easy on the bottom. Already, okay, we're all set. Uh, 
Now we got to put the wheel back on. Okay, I gently snugged up the, the nuts while it was in the air. And now that it's on the ground, I'll finish it up. Give a nice star pattern. Make sure they're like the first round. Now I'll try it again. Okay, well, I'm happy with those. Then we got our hubcap. Okay, now, now the next thing is, is uh, I'll go in here and gently, gently pump, gently pump, gently pump, and pump up all the, the space that's in there. Because I pushed back the piston so far, I gotta fill that space up with fluid again. So I'll pump it up really nice, make sure I have enough fluid in the reservoir, and then the, the job will be done. That's my reservoir. The max line's up to here, and you can kind of see the fluid line goes right where my thumbnail, my fingernail goes. Right about, I, I shake it so you can kind of see it. See it. Hope you can see it on camera. We can kind of see a little bit of a shade from the fluid right around there. So, so we're fine on the on the. the